let's talk about how browser works and one of the most important browser implementation that most of the developer gets wrong and they have to pay higher prices in terms of rendering. So this is what happened when you ask for a website. If you have something currently displaying that has to unload, then it goes through the network and place a request, then the server gives you the reply and some processing in the client side. So there are three major areas, the network, server, and the client. Here you have the simplest HTML in the world. You have a body tag, inside body, a paragraph, and a div. And this HTML gets converted into a tree and the tree called DOM tree. This is the tree. You have the root as an HTML element and you have a body. Inside body, you have two branches. One is for the paragraph and it has some text in it. And another is a div with an image. So browser actually goes line by line and implement it. If you forget a closing tag or any other problem with the HTML, then it makes the browser's life complex to implement the tree. So try to provide a valid HTML and don't just wrap HTML inside a div when you don't need it. With HTML, you provide some style and these styles also need to be resolved another tree. And this tree is called CSS object model, or you can call it as an style tree. So look, you have some merging style you want to apply to all paragraph and div. So the CSS object model creates the CSS rule with selectors. Here is paragraph and div and the rules here, the declaration for merging top three pixels. Similarly, you want to apply color red to every element that has a class error. So this again come as a selector with class error and the styles here with color red. Now, this DOM tree and the CSS object model comes together to construct a render tree. If we look back what we have so far, you have provided HTML, browser parsed it, constructed a DOM tree. So you have provided styles, browser parsed it and constructed an style tree and all together browser generates this render tree. When the render tree is ready, then browser started to construct the layout. This is the actual geometry of the page and where things would be placed. When the layout is ready, browser starts painting and you can see stuff on the page. Now, if you want to change something, the, the first rule is try not to change or change as minimum as possible and try to avoid changing the layout, the geometry of the page. If you change some background, the geometry doesn't have to change or if you change some text color, this doesn't affect the layout of the page. And if you do visibility hidden, in case of visibility hidden, the element stays in the tree, but it's not getting displayed. So browser has to do minimum work, just change the painting and you can see the changes. But if you want to do more changes, this means more work for the browser. For example, if you change the geometry, the structure of the page, or you change the width height of any element or you change the size of any font or you move node from one place to another or you resize the window or eventually if you do a display none. In that case, browser has to take out something from the structure. If you look it here, so browser has to reconstruct the render tree, find out the layout and start painting. So this means more work for the browser. So the second rule is try to avoid reflow. And if you have to do it, do it by using document fragment or clone the DOM so that this doesn't affect too much in the render tree.